Guys, welcome to the first episode of my second season with Borussia Mönchengladbach on FIFA 15. The board have granted me a transfer kitty of 19 million with a wage budget of 90,000. So not as much as I'd hoped for, but I think we, we can work with that. I still haven't used the financial takeover, but I was thinking maybe for my third season in the summer transfer window, I'll use it then. But for the time being, I'm just going to be working with what I've got. Well, we've got quite a few emails here. Ah, oh, yes, pre-contract player arrival. If you guys remember, I put these two deals together in uh, the January transfer window. So, Yanazovic, or I think how you pronounce his name is Yanazovic, something like that. He's going to be joining us then for the uh, the season ahead. And we've also got Kashar as well. We'll just delete that message, as you can see. So it's good to have them in the team, adding to the squad depth. That's what it's all about. I'm looking forward to actually using those two, especially Yanazovic, who's shown so much promise. And here we are. Don't forget this season, guys. We are in the Champions League. And the boards are expecting me to reach the group stage. But I thought we're in. We don't have to qualify for it. We're in the group stage. Wow, look at all this time I'm going to have to spend in the transfer window. We start our preseason against West Brom away, then we come back home to face QPR. So, a bit of a Premier League preseason. Then we start the Bundesliga season against Stuttgart, then Cologne, then we've got Frankfurt. And I don't think the group stages of the Champions League is drawn yet. So, we've got that to look forward to. Atletico Madrid looking to sign Cavani there. We've got a transfer offer from Bayer Leverkusen for summer for 13.5. Going to reject that and all offers as well. Right, I'm sure Van Gaal is probably going to reject this, but I'm going to I'm going to approach United and try and sign Adnan Yanazai on a season-long loan. Let's see what happens. Oh, Rajkovic, may we discuss wages? Yes, we can. Let's go ahead and offer Rajkovic a new contract. He was fantastic last season. Solid as a rock at the back for Munchen Gladbach, so we'll bump that up to 35 a week. One year and crucial first-team player. Will Atletico Madrid sign Cavani? That'll be huge for them. And just as I thought, United have rejected my loan offer for Yanazai. Oh, well, we got another transfer offer here. This time it's from Max Cruiser. Is it from Sevilla? For 11.5 million. Now nah, he's worth more than that. But I'm gonna re I'm gonna reject all offers and disallow future offers for him. Wow, Manchester United only want 5.5 million for Raphael. That's an absolute bargain. And, you know, we, we could do with a stronger right back to go alongside Corb uh, because Rangel, he's getting on a bit now. And I think we'll look to move him on here in the summer or maybe in January. Oh, my transfer offer was unacceptable. But Manchester United have put a price tag on Raphael for 4.6. So that's lower than what they valued him at. So shall I offer United the full 4.6 or shall I see if we can save a bit of money here? You know what, now I'll put in 4.6 instead of messing around. So let's get the deal done. And Slobodan Rajkovic has signed a one-year contract extension. That is brilliant news. Another transfer offer here. It's for Patrick Aman this time from Aston Villa for 8.5 million there. Willing to splash out 8.5 million on Haman. Well, I'm sorry, I'm going to be rejecting that. Madrid are in talks with PSG now over Cavani. And my transfer offer has been accepted for Rafael. So he wants 70 grand a week. Crucial firsty player, three years is going to be the length, right? Let's offer him that then. Are we going to hear back? Are we going to hear back from Raphael? I think we are. Yes, he's accepting my contract offer. We have signed Raphael. Just one step at a time, strengthening our back four. And in comes Raphael. What a signing. Love Raphael. So lots going on then with speculation. Bayern Munich are interested in Luis Suarez. That that would be a huge move if Bayern can actually capture him. Munch Gladbach confirmed Yanazai talks. We've already gone through that. And Madrid still keen on signing Cavani. Whilst I think about it, I need to go and change kit numbers here. Because we've just signed Rafael. And I want to give him the number two. So we'll strip the number two away from Rajkovic and give him number five. Oh, Santana's. That's Santana's number. Okay, so... Let's just... Raphael with number four. No, I'll give him number two. It's the perfect number for a right back. And then for Santana, I will give him the number six. But that takes away Dahoud's number. But that, that doesn't matter. Received a transfer offer here for the youngster Cesar. At the age of 21. Central attacker mid from Kilmarnock. 180,000. Simple deal. And I'm going to accept it. 
We've got some more transfer offers here for Rykovic and Korb. I'm definitely going to be rejecting both of these. First one coming from Palermo for 4.4 for Rykovic. And the other one is from Norwich for Korb. Going to reject that as well. He's got loads of potential. We're at the Hawthorns today, guys, to play our first pre-season friendly against West Bromwich Albion. The Baggers. I think we're in for a good game. It's funny because we've only got two pre-season friendlies when normally we only have three. But I think that's because we're in the uh, the Champions League this season, so it's kind of messed all the fixtures up, meaning that we have to start the Bundesliga pretty early compared to last year. Let's give that back to Herman. Feed that through to Malapa. Oh, that's beautiful for Cruiser. Nice back heel pass from Malapa. Great awareness as well. And Cruiser picking up where he left off from last season. West Brom then with a free kick outside the box. Oh my god, it's gone in. Oh wow. I mean, that's amazing for the fans. Just a pre season friendly. Dorans with a, a beautiful free kick. Sommer just rooted to the spot. Amazing stuff from Dorans. He did so well to lift the ball up over the wall and bring it back down to find its target. Brilliant stuff. I've got to see that again on the replay. And just look at that. Wow. Top right hand corner. Absolutely belted that. Absolute postage stamp. Beautiful stuff. To Malapa. He's really impressed me in this game so far. It's good to have him actually in the Munch and Gladback side after last season he was away on that season long loan. And here we go, Malapa in space. Yes, oh, that's just beautiful. Keeper came out to meet him. Shouldn't have done that because it just left an opening there. Absolute gap for Malapa to slot it home. A good start to our pre-season friendlies. We've beaten West Brom 2-1. Raphael coming on off the bench. He did good and so did Malapa and also my pre-contract signings, Kashar and uh, Yunusovic. Brilliant stuff here today. I've just finished playing West Brom where we just beat them and now my transfer offer has been accepted by them for Berahino. 8.3 million, the deal is almost done. Only one more game to go then of our pre-season friendlies. It's against QPR and we are back home in front of the home fans. Santana pushing forwards, look at this. This is what you want from a centre-half that can drive forwards. Hagota, can we make it 1-0? Yes, we can. Her go to, just like Cruiser in the last game against West Brom, picking up where he left off. Certainly have found a proper goal scorer in her go to. Been a bit of a scrappy game so far. No, look at the space I've given Sandro. He can smash them. Urgh, clear it. Oh, it's going to be a penalty. Unbelievable. Rykovic has got himself sent off. Oh my God. Come on, referee. Come on, son. Seriously, for that challenge, was it really that bad? Give a yellow card at least, and a penalty. Come on, Summer, with the wriggly legs, can we save it? Oh, went the wrong way, it's off the crossbar! No! Oh, that's so unfortunate. Hoyler almost missed as well there. The ball actually hitting the crossbar for a second time after the penalty. Two penalties in one game. This is absolutely amazing. Corker with the challenge. Oh, that's that's definitely a penalty. Hagota to get his second goal of the game. Going for the top right. 2-1. Beautiful stuff. Same scoreline as it was against West Brom in our previous pre-season friendly. Some really good performances I've seen in these pre-season friendlies. Good stuff. Can we get three? Can we get three? Hagota on his hat trick. Oh, my God. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, that was a beautiful goal as well. Hagota with a hat-trick in a pre-season friendly against QPR. I really expected more from them. But what a finish from Hagota. Such power. And it was laser-guided into the bottom corner. Good stuff. A really good positive win here for Mönchengladbach as we finish up our pre-season We've beaten West Brom, we've beaten QPR. Now it's time to turn our attention to the start of the Bundesliga season. This is very good news. Berahino, my friend, sign on the dotted line. You are to become a Borussia Mönchengladbach centre forwards. After this deal is done, <laughs> seriously, I expect there to be goal after goal after goal in every game we play this season. 
Well, there we have it. It is a done deal. Borussia Mönchengladbach have won the race for Berahino. And uh, with that, guys, I end the episode there. I hope that you've all enjoyed. Do stay tuned because in the next episode, we begin our second season in the Bundesliga. Thanks for watching.